there's an update. Remember the man who was found dead, all right? Found dead inside of a jail with um, bugs, bed bugs around him. I'm going to do this. He was eaten alive by these bed bugs. Put up the picture that we currently have. And um, that's how he was found, bugs all on him. So much so that when the deputies found him, they refused to touch him, okay? They would not touch him. Go to the cell. Mm. Go to the other angle of this same cell. They made him live in this, they made him live in it. You now have a significant update. Fulton County has now settled with the family of jail inmate who died covered in bed bugs. LaShawn Thompson, 35 years of age of Winter Haven, Florida, was discovered unresponsive in the jail's psychiatric wing. This was on September 13th, according to a Fulton County Medical Examiner report. Fulton County has reached a $4 million settlement in the death of LaShawn Thompson, who died in September in the Fulton County Jail Mental Health Wing covered in bed bugs. County commissioners voted six to zero to approve the settlement following discussion. Commissioner Khadijah Abdur Rahman said later that she believes terms include establishing policies and procedures to prevent any further de- any further deaths like Thompson's. The commissioner said she also believes NAFCARE, the healthcare provider at the jail, has reached a similar settlement with Thompson's family committing to preventative measures as well. No amount of money can bring back the life of a loved one, she said. But she hopes the settlement is an indication that all parties involved will do what they can to prevent similar incidents. Why was he in jail in the first place? Thompson 35, Florida was arrested when Georgia Tech police found him sleeping in a park in Midtown. Georgia Tech college police found him sleeping in a park in Midtown. He had been held for three months before he died in the jail's psychiatric Wing. His cause of death was undetermined according to a Fulton County Medical Examiner report, but an independent autopsy paid for by former NFL quarterback, the big homie Colin Kaepernick, concluded that Thompson died of neglect. The US Department of Justice has now opened an investigation into the jail, citing Thompson's death as one of the many in the facility during the past few years. So once again, you have a cultural issue here, okay? Um, there's this policy dynamic back and forth with um, Sheriff Labot, the county commissioners. Um, Sheriff Labot, um, who does actually a lot of community programming. Sheriff Labot has been uh, saying to the county commissioners, we need more money. The county commissioners have um, said some, have said you've got enough money. Uh, or you need to prioritize resources. I, I just need everybody to stop pointing down fingers. A man is dead. According to the federal government, more have died. Um, deputies should have put some damn soap and water in that cell, all right? So at this point, um, obviously the family has received a quick, this was a swift settlement because the incident happened relatively um, not too long ago. Um, But none of this money brings back anybody from the dead. Those memories have now been summarized because of this negligence, but there's a cause and effect that must be addressed. Why would Georgia Tech police take a man who's simply sleeping to jail? That's because the city does not have, the city does not invest in a homeless or unsheltered facility to assist individuals who are having a difficult time. Nor is there massive infrastructure funding for mental health care. In the United States of America, definitely not contextualized through the state of Georgia to come down to the Atlanta metropolitan area. You cannot 
talk about what happened to him without the cause and effect of the policies that landed him in that facility. There is enough blame to go around. But this is what politicians are supposed to fix. This is the work of legislative prowess. This is how you get from problem to remedy. But instead, you'd rather have frivolous arguments, distractions, red meat debates, while people are dying because of policies that are adverse to the protection and the progress of life. Jeff, thoughts? Imagine what it would have been like had that $4 million been invested in healthcare or mm. homeless infrastructure on the front end instead of having to pay it in the settlement on the back end. Which, by the way, that settlement is coming out of the, the pockets of probably taxpayers. Oh, so yeah. there's no incentive for the politicians or the prison industrial complex to do any about this, uh, anything about this moving forward.